It's in the blood, and that's what most parents say when their children take after them. I should know, that's exactly the case of former PBA player Bobby the Firecracker Jose and his daughter Danica Jose of the Ateneo Lady Eagles basketball team. The 6'1 center Danica was a force in the paint for the Lady Eagles this season 76 in the UAAP and is part of the UAAP Mythical 5 selection. She also played for the 16 and under women's national basketball team. Danica also won three WNCA championships for Miriam during high school and on her senior year she was part of the Mythical 5 Bag the MVP award as well. Like father, like daughter? You can say that again. Let's visit the crib of the Ateneo Lady Eagles basketball team standout, Danica Jose. Let's go. Hi, Danica. Hi, good morning. Um, I'm Danica Jose, and I'm part of the Ateneo Lady Eagles, and this is my humble abode. So come on in. Hi Nicole, hi guys, so welcome to my home and this is our living room, usually this is where we welcome our guests and they go here usually on special occasions like Christmas or New Year and especially during Sundays they have lunch here when we go back home here. So. Um, I've been living here ever since I was a kid. I grew up here and... Yeah, basically, you grew up here, yeah. so your whole childhood was here. Okay, so this is our den. It's where we usually watch our favorite movies and our favorite TV shows whenever we want to chill after dinner. And I want to share to you my favorite TV series, it's Modern Family. Oh. I've been watching this ever since season one, yeah. so it's might wanna. It's a really good <laughs> yeah, it's series. a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, my dad decided to put pictures around this den, so because he's kind of nostalgic with all the memories from <laughs> way back. And yeah, so this picture right there was taken when I was in RP. We competed in Singapore, and we. Um, I think it was against Sri Lanka, I think, and yeah, some Singaporean took a shot of that and my dad decided to put it there. And that picture was taken two years ago. It was against NU. It's actually a memorable game for me because it was our knockout game. And fortunately, we won against the knockout game and that's why we went in the final four. So yeah, and that's my, that's my dad during his San Miguel days. I think the guy behind him was is um, Robert Jaworski, yeah, I think, yeah. Nice yeah, the slam dunk there. Yeah. <laughs> These are my awards ever since high school. And when I started playing in high school, when I was in second year, and luckily I was part of the 3 P championship during WNCA in Miriam, so these were my awards back then. And during my senior year, I was part of the Mythical Five, and oh. yeah, and I was MVP that year. And there are some leagues also from RP, but we didn't really win the championship. It's just silver medals during FIBA and Second. yeah, ASEAN Games. And this was my award last year. Um, I was part of the mythical selection, and yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know. I was really surprised I was part of the mythical selection because last year was really a nightmare for us, especially the team, because we didn't really expect to be, like, <laughs> we only had one win last year, and then they told me I was part of the mythical, so it didn't really, I didn't, expect, yeah, I didn't expect. Yeah, it was it was really a surprise because we only had one win. But yeah, I think that's the only bright side I got. So Danica, how long have you been living here in Bulacan? Um, ever since I was a kid. Um, I grew up here with my cousins and my parents and my younger brother. So uh, maybe that's the part before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so guys, I want you to meet my parents. This is my dad, Bobby Jose. He's a former PBA player. He's the one teaching me and giving me um, comments. <laughs> <laughs> giving me comments after the game. He's gonna, yeah. So, and this is my mom. She's my source of inspiration. <laughs> She's always there to support me. Even after a bad game, she makes me feel better and she cheers me up. So, yeah, that's my mom. And my brother's not here, so... Okay, so this is our dining area. It's where we eat when we have visitors, but that's really where we eat as a family, especially during weekends. So, after this, we can all eat pancit and puto, Yo. specialty of Bulacan. <laughs> So let's go eat! <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> What is it like to have a dad who was a basketball player and does it give you an edge? You know, like he gives you advice and stuff. Was he the reason why you started to play? Well, he's not really the main reason why I started to play, but he's a big factor why I wanted to continue playing. Because um, I'm really lucky to have my dad to be there by my side whenever he watches games. He'd always critique and comment on how I could improve more in the next games. And I think it's, a, it's really important for me that I understand and really accept, even if it's negative. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really good to hear some of those comments from a PBA player since he really knows what he's talking about. So, yeah. Okay, so I, I want to share you guys the pictures of my dad when he used to play for PBA. So his first team was San Miguel. He started playing in 1989. And... These pictures are really memorable for him. Sometimes he'd show us, when we were kids actually, he'd show us these pictures and tell us the story behind every picture. And I think this was during a slam dunk contest. And whenever he'd show this picture, he'd always tell my brother and I, parang, you're supposed to be jumping that high. And <laughs> your dad was known for jumping, for leaping really high. And then you have to work on your legs and yeah. to, be, to toughen up, something like that. This is our batch picture when we were in grade 7. So before we graduated, um, this picture was taken. So try to spot me in this picture. I think this one. The one who's standing out. Okay. A very tall girl. Okay, so yeah, that's me standing out from my batch. <laughs> I was a tall kid already. <laughs> so yeah, that's me. I had braces and bangs of them. Yeah. <laughs> How tall were you there? Five, five, nine. Wow, you're five, nine and you're five, nine, seven. Five, nine, five, eight. Yeah. Wow. This picture was taken like um, seven years ago. Um, they, my aunt in the States made me join this pageant. Oh, Miss wow. Kundirana. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't really my field, so I decided to give it a try. But yeah, so there. How was the experience? Was it, was, it fun? It was <laughs> kind of embarrassing because I don't know how to dance. And then <laughs> we had like uh, five sessions to dance. And all of my co... Yeah, yeah they, they're they so good at it because uh, they they're so used to it. And then I was, I was just new. I was a basketball player and I really don't know how to dance or to walk. Right, yeah. But, yeah. It's funny. So, um, how would you describe yourself? Who is Danica Jose? Because, you know, we know you as a basketball player, but who are you when you're not playing basketball? Um, well, I really... Um, well, in basketball, kasi, parang you're aggressive and you're really tough. It's the exact opposite when I'm off the court. Parang I'm just really cheerful and positive and I have a sense of humor and stuff like that. But in basketball, 
um, it really it's really professional that you get serious during practices and games. So I think na you switch on and off your personality whenever you're on the court and whenever you're off the court because you have time to enjoy and there's also time na you have to get serious. So yeah. Thank you so much, Danica. Enjoy talking to you and thank you for showing us around your place. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Danica Jose really makes her former PBA player dad, Bobby Jose, so proud. Manang mana kasi. Even if she's a girl, it pays to have good genes and a loving father. Hope you enjoyed this episode and are visiting the wonderful Bulacan countryside. Home Court continues to inspire featuring athletes and sports personalities, their dreams, their passions, and their homes. This is Nicole Ramos. See you guys next week. Bye!